We are living in extraordinary times where we can no longer take the high standard of living that we experience for granted. The emergence of the major Asian economies and the changes in the distribution of wealth throughout the world mean that we have to be competitive and we have to be competitive at the level of intellectual activity and technology. Central to that is sound basic education for all of our children. We must provide these opportunities if we are to be competitive into the future. My personal success I attribute fundamentally to the fact that I received a sound basic education through Queensland government schools and at the University of Queensland. That set me up for life and I am enormously grateful to my teachers and my university lecturers. Now, since I returned to Australia in 2002, I've grappled with the issue that many confront of how best we provide an optimal education for all of our children. We are a very diverse society. We have diverse educational models ranging from private wealthy schools to government schools through various types of parochial schools which are less well funded. The issue of how we fund our education system has been a difficult one which has often led to confrontation. What impresses me particularly about the Gonski report as, is that it has been accepted across the educational spectrum that people who are responsible for the education of our children believe that this report should be implemented. I'm always very happy to go with the experts and I would urge the government to implement the Gonski report at the earliest possible opportunity. This will provide opportunities for our children and it will reach to everyone, even to those recent immigrants who've come in here under most unfavorable circumstances and provide optimal education for all of our kids. There is nothing more important.